Back to all about the Smokies. I'm here in downtown Gatlinburg in a restaurant that needs no introduction, but let's introduce it. It's the famous Crockett's Breakfast Camp. Many of you have been, many of you love it, and maybe you haven't. But either way, I'm going inside. I will say, in this particular place, I'm not going to be eating the pancakes. Um, I'm not a fan of this style of pancakes, so I'll be getting something else. But, I'll still let you know what I think. This video is brought to you by Bill Sanders. Bill Sanders is a member of All About the Smokies YouTube channel at the sponsorship level. Bill, as part of his $9.95 per month, gets access to early videos. Uh, sometimes we'll release them to members first. Members only videos, um, like we just did one, an update on the cabin that we released just to members. Uh, as well as uh, two shout outs at the beginning of a video per month. So if you're interested about that or our two other levels of $4.95 a month for behind the scenes videos and, and early access videos or the uh, $2.99 option uh, that just helps support the channel, click the join button down below for more information. Now, on to the video. their menu right out front and you will likely in, in most cases especially if you come on the weekend be waiting outside for a little bit so they do have breakfast they do have lunch items as well and I think this is what I'm going to be going with here Go in. Come inside, and this is the menu that they give you. It's like a uh, an old newspaper it has some some old uh, Smoky Mountain history here. It's very neat. Um, front and back. And then, um, then the menus inside. Pretty cool. So that was extremely fast service this morning. Now there's not a ton of people in. I got here first thing on a Monday morning, but there's my French toast. That's what I'm dealing with. And there's my country ham and egg. I'll be real honest, I'm not sure what that is. Let's give this a shot. It smells amazing. Really good. Really good. Got some more butter on this bite. really good. Let's try the ham. I'm just going to tear off the piece. They gave me a knife for it, but Whew. that's very salty. really salty. The salt and pepper shakers come in mason jars. It's 
good. Let's try this mystery thing. I don't know what it is. It's like corns in it. I don't know what that is. It's almost like cornbread. Like a cornbread ball with like actual corn and things mixed in. I don't know what that's supposed to be. It's not dead, whatever it is. Alright, I'll give you my final review in just a moment. All right, so that was Crockett's Breakfast Camp in downtown Gatlinburg. It's located all the way almost to the end um, of the strip heading out towards the, the Smoky Mountains. So I, this particular trip I went by myself, but I thought it'd be good since you've been a couple times too to bring you in to talk about it real quick. So for, for me, um, this particular trip was really good. I... Um, really enjoyed the French toast. I didn't get the pancakes because I don't love the pancakes. Now, you know me, I'm a pancake guy. I um, didn't get the pancakes because they're the, the thick kind. It's those the the griddle, griddle, griddle cakes. cakes. So, you know, for, for me, it just tastes like sweet cornbread almost. So it's thick. Very thick. Very thick. So, so um, sides were were fine i ended up eating what was i asked the waiter waiter uh later what it was it looked like a little dollop of of corn bread or like potato casserole or something and i i ate it and it was almost flavorless it was a garnish so i wasn't supposed to eat it apparently <laughs> it wasn't like bad like it was all it was made from edible things but it was a garnish so i'm i'm we are not high class people. I wouldn't have known that. I didn't order it. It wasn't like on the menu. It, it was like a food? little dollop of what looked like food. I would have. I would have. If it's on your plate, you're going to eat it, or yeah. you're going to think you should eat it, unless it's parsley. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. We're only fancy with parsley. Yeah, we get parsley. Um, so, we've been a couple times. Mm -hmm. What has been your experience when we've gone? Okay, so I absolutely love the decor. Mm -hmm. All the way even to the restrooms. It is throughout the entire restaurant. It is worth it to me to go in just to be able to be in the atmosphere. It, it is a base camp feel. Like the entire place has this really cool camp vibe and it's, they have some tables that seat large groups huge. of people so if you've got multiple families or if you've got one giant family um they'll be able to seat you because it's definitely there's definitely a lot of room there i like their food i'm not a pancake person mm -hmm. so the griddle cake is not a disappointment to me though it did catch us off guard yeah, the first, the first time, time we ordered we went, it, we're I didn't like, know. this is not a pancake. <laughs> so oh I'm sorry, I think you made a mistake. I said pancake. But all there, I had, I always get like eggs, bacon, some sort of potato or biscuits, yeah. and all of that was delicious. Their bacon was delicious. Um, I like good bacon. Yeah, I really like their bacon. All three times we've been, I've had that that's the one thing that has been consistent. That and eggs, I guess. And and, and they were good all, all three times. Mm -hmm. Um one time, the very first time I went, actually I got waffle with bacon like baked into it. And that was really good too. Mm -hmm. So, you know, other than being disappointed by a griddle cake, and you may love it. There's people out there that love those those mm -hmm. thick pancakes. Um, Even their menus mm -hmm. are cool because you get, it's a paper menu yeah. and then it has different stories and things. So it's entertaining when you're waiting for your food to sit and read over the little paper. Little history on, uh, yeah. or on, on the Smokies. So. It's definitely like 
from start to finish, I, I, I don't know. The atmosphere is mm -hmm. wonderful. And, and pricing is is about what you pay anywhere mm -hmm. else. May, maybe just just slightly more expensive, yeah. but I don't. I, it wasn't anything um, that should it's you not should look at. Shattering. It's it's what you would expect. Now the 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 big negative for this place. And this is true with with any breakfast place in the Smokies. Get there like when they open. Mm -hmm. because the earlier, the better. If you don't, I heard on a Facebook group like last week, somebody said that wait time was like two, two and a half hours. Yeah, like that. They're like I love log cabin. I love pancake pantry. To wait that long. I I don't know that I would even wait that long for 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 places I love. When when I'm waiting so long that it's lunchtime, yeah. by the time I get in there, <clears throat> it's probably too long. I mean, it'd be different if if you know you put your name down and they can text you and you can go walk about Gatlinburg, but even that would be hard to do mm -hmm. and still get back. Yeah. Now, somebody did say that you can put your you can you can actually call in and put your name down um, ahead of time. So that's not like something they advertise, but it's something that you can do. So just a little little tip: try to do that. I, we didn't. I didn't need to do that because it was it was not busy. When it's down near the knock and stuff. Mm -hmm. So if it if it is a long wait and you do want to stick it out, um, there is that shopping center that's really close by. So you could at least spend a little yep. bit of time there and not miss your reservation. Yep. Yep. So, you know, lots of hype around around Crockett's, and and I think for good reason. Mm -hmm. I think, uh, yeah. especially with the the decor, like you said, go to the bathroom. It's really cool. In I and I did, and I planned on recording in there. Somebody was in there, and it's kind of weird. And I I don't want them to come out and me be filming in a bathroom. They're very clean bathrooms, very clean. But like they had these little um, basin sinks, these little like um, metal metal mm -hmm. sinks. And like just they spared no expense to mm. to to do the theming from literally one side of the place to the other. Yeah. They're, I recommend it. If yeah. you if you get the chance to go there and if you happen to be an early bird, yeah. get up and get there early. So Yeah. I agree. Oh, kids pancakes are also big pancakes. So if you think, oh well the kids menu they might serve regular pancakes, they don't do that. It's still the griddle cake. So if your kids like pancakes and just know they get the big pancake too. Now, um, so one other thing I want to point out, this is the sister restaurant of the um, Five Oaks restaurant. Mm -hmm. They're owned by the same people, so those pancakes are basically the same. Um, also worth the decor Yeah, if you ever get to go. So I would say for breakfast, you could do either one and you'd have about the same experience. So if you'd rather go in Sevierville and it's closer and you don't want to drive into Gatlinburg. Mm -hmm. um, and the theming for both of them is inside and out. Yep. It's yep. It Beautiful. makes for a good experience. Um, and we did review that place, um, the, the, the Five Oaks restaurant. So I put the link up there so you can check it out as well. There. All right, so that'll do it for this review of um, Crockett's, Crockett's Breakfast Camp. I always call it Davy Crockett's. Yeah, that's, they just, that's all right. So. In downtown Gallenberg. So this has been another video from the Great Smoky Mountains. We hope you have a great day. God bless.